subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Rouse IAS Study Circle. Join the only official Telegram channel of Rouse IAS Study Circle to get the relevant materials and important updates. Hello and welcome to the daily print practice session for today. We are going to discuss some of the important MCQs relevant for the prelims perspective of the civil service examinations which are derived out of important news articles which are there in today's The Hindu Daily edition dated 19th October 2022. This session will also cover some of the important MCQs derived from the news items of Indian Express of 19th October 2022. The topics which are to be discussed have been displayed on your screen and a timestamping of the same has been provided in the description box below. So now let us begin our session in detail. So this is our first topic. This topic has appeared in today's The Hindu Daily edition at page number 2. And as you can read, this topic is in relation to the Air Quality Index, which is also known as AQI. The context of this very article is that recently the air quality of the capital that is Delhi deteriorated and entered into the poor category according to the AQI. So that is why it becomes important for us to understand that what exactly is Air Quality Index. If you go by the previous year question paper analysis, in 2016 UPSC has asked the question from this very particular theme that is which of these gases form the part of the air quality index. So this question also gives us a signal to understand that what are various dimensions associated with the air quality index. So the first question for today's DPP is in front of you. So pause the screen for a few seconds and try to attempt this basic question. There are three statements given and you have to find the correct statement out of the given three statements in relation to the air quality index. Statement 1 says there are five AQI categories namely good, satisfactory, poor, very poor and severe. This statement is factually incorrect because not five but there are six AQI categories and the one category which is not listed among this list is between satisfactory and poor there is one more category which is known as moderately polluted. So that is why statement 1 is incorrect. Statement 2. Color codification ranges from green to red with red being the most dangerous one. Again, this statement also might seem correct because red is generally referred to the most dangerous one. But as far as AQI is concerned, after red we also have a dark red. So again, statement 2 is also incorrect. So that is why option C that is 3 only is the correct answer. So the next question has been articulated from the article which has appeared at page number 6 in The Hindu. The topic reads that Japan has seeks the GI tag. Now GI tag stands for the geographical indication tag. So Japan has seek a GI tag for its product that is Nihonshu. So in this regard, this particular theme that is geographical indication is one of the most favorite themes or areas where UPSC asks the questions on a regular basis. For example, in 2015, UPSC asked the question related to the products which have been accorded the GI status in India. But here we are talking about the GI status for some foreign product. So the question is very basic. Nihonshu term seen recently in news refers to which of the following given four options. So as in the context itself we have discussed that this status has been seeked by Japan and there is just one option which mentions Japan automatically makes option A as the correct answer. But here you should also understand that what exactly is this Nihonshu. Nihonshu is a alcoholic beverage which is made out of fermentation of rice. So this is the product and Japan has seeked GI status for this. This topic has again appeared at page number 6 and is in relation to the high intensity rainfall over the western coast of India, especially the state of Kerala, to be more precise the southern districts of Kerala. This high intensity rainfall is because of the formation of cyclonic depressions over the Bay of Bengal as well as Arabian Sea region. So when it comes to the monsoon, cyclone or climate related aspects, everything which is important for India becomes important for UPSC examination. For example, UPSC has already asked a question regarding the Indian Ocean Dipole with the context mentioning forecasting of the Indian monsoon. 
so that is why from this we get a signal that there can be certain questions which can be asked related to the forecasting of any particular disaster which in this particular article is cyclones keeping this thing in mind let us see the question number 3 The question says that with reference to the cyclone warning system of Indian Meteorological Department consider the following pairs out of these four pairs you have to find the correct pair and more importantly this theme has also been asked in mains this year in GS paper 1 so you can have a look for the mains question also however in this particular question option 2 and option 4 are interchanged actually yellow stands for b updated position and orange stands for b prepared situation so that is why 2 and 4 are incorrectly matched and hence option b 1 and 3 is the correct answer now let us move towards another question which is from the science and tech section this topic has appeared in the hindu at text and context page and again if you go by the previous year question papers of prelims especially almost every year we get around one to two question which is mainly from the space sciences for example here the reference question of 2019 has been taken which was in relation to the black holes so similarly on the basis of this very article the today's question number 4 is in front of you there are three statements given again you have to find the correct statement statement 1 says neuron stars are stellar corpses that are left behind after the stars have undergone supernova explosion this statement is correct statement 2 says these stars are extremely dense correct having more mass and occupying larger area than sun no they do not have very large areas in fact they have very smaller areas and this is the reason that they are extremely dense that is why statement 2 is incorrect statement 3 says that neutron star mergers are responsible for gamma ray bursts and are observed frequently again this statement is correct and hence option c that is 1 and 3 is the correct answer now let us look at another question the question is in relation to one of the most important species wildlife species in our ecosystem that is giraffes Now this news item has appeared in the Hindu at page number 14 and is in relation to the recent genealogical studies of the largest captive herd in India related to giraffes at Alipur Zoological Garden in Kolkata. Again ecology biodiversity wildlife species are one of the favorite areas of UPSC. For example in 2019 the question was asked in relation to the Asiatic lion double humped camel one horned rhinoceros etc so that is why today's question is with respect to the giraffes consider the following statements statement 1 says they are naturally found in africa and south america no this is incorrect they are naturally found only in africa not even in india because in india they were brought by the british from the african colonies which over there they commanded hence statement 1 is incorrect statement 2 says that nubian giraffes which are the subspecies of the broader category giraffes are categorized as critically endangered as far as the iucn red book list data is concerned this is correct and hence option b is the correct answer now let us see some news items which has appeared in indian express the question number 6 is from the indian express in relation to the uniform civil code this is one of the very important topics as far as the polity is concerned in prelims as well as in mains the context of this very news article which has appeared in today's indian express newspaper is that the center has underlined in the code that constitution obligates the states to have a uniform civil code according to the central government it feels that despite so much of cultural and religious diversity in india in order to have unity and integrity maintained we must have a common law to govern the matrimonial as well as property related issues so that is why we must know that in which section or in which part or in which area of the constitution there is a provision of uniform civil code 
similar themes have been already asked in upsc for example in 2014 the question was asked in the constitution of india promotion of international peace and security is included in which of the following areas so again today's question is on the similar lines that in the constitution of india uniform civil code is included in which of the following four options so this uniform civil code is mentioned in article 44 which is directive principles of state policy moving towards our next question this question is again from indian express this article has appeared at page number 8 and when it comes to certain scientific inventions or innovations related to agriculture or ecology it becomes important for upsc prelims examination as far as this pusa decomposer is concerned this technology is relevant for both of these areas that is agriculture also as well as environment also for example in 2016 the question was asked in relation to the neem coated urea so today's practice question is in relation to the pusa decomposer there are two statements given and you have to find the correct statement statement 1 says they are in the form of capsules made by extracting the bacteria strains no this statement is incorrect because it is fungi strains so this is factually incorrect statement be very careful while reading the statements statement 2 says after the spray they should not be exposed to the sunlight yes this is correct because if we expose them to the sunlight and this pusa decomposer is a biomaterial so it itself will decompose and that is why option b that is too only is the correct answer so these were the questions for today's dpp session thank you and study hard all the very best